Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH, and I am back for take two of I'm trying to do a low vision spotlight video here for a little collection of games on Steam and the Switch called Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle. Uh, this is a collection of, I believe, six kind of 2D beat 'em up brawler games, uh, arcade brawlers that you would find in the arcade. We got our title screen here. I'm just going to hit a button to go. Um, when I tried recording this last night, uh, my resolution was messed up and I had kind of a similar issue to when I recorded the 2018 end of year video where Oblivion kind of just appeared in the upper left hand corner. And I think, I'm hoping that this time when I do this, <coughs> um, I think I may have that resolved. So let's, uh, yeah, take two and I'll show you some classic beat em up games. I also just did a Twitch stream where I played through two of these titles, but for people who just want to see what this collection is, what it has to offer, this is the video that you would want to watch. So main menu here, everything I like, in this game I like their menus. It's clear, it's large print, there's con good contrast. It's just really simple and really well done. I very much appreciate it. I can play offline. I can play online if I want to play co-op with somebody online, I guess. There's a gallery mode, which I think unfortunately just has mainly some uh, like art, artwork, some concept art and things like that. Uh, options, not a whole lot under there. Uh, and then exit. So let's go in the gallery really fast, just so you can see. So again, we just got a simple menu here. We can go into the brawler or the beat em up bundle artwork here. Eh, show you guys some artwork that they have. And then they break it down per game and I'll show you what games are on here very shortly. But yeah, that's that. Uh, we'll go into final fight really fast. So there we go, some more artwork. I was kind of hoping that maybe they would have, you know, some is more of a historical preservation sort of a thing. Uh, I don't know, some video clips or, you know, kind of pro videos of prototypes or, um, I don't know, some interviews, video interviews or, you know, just things like that that would, um, things like that that would kind of round out the package a little bit more, kind of a more interactive museum piece kind of a thing. Oh yeah, that guy. I know who he is now, <laughs> having fought him earlier today during my stream. So yeah, there's Final Fight. I'll just go down to one more here really quick. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, they're, they're neat artwork. Uh, I don't generally look at too much artwork. I tend to prefer you know, a lot more like video style things, but you know, sometimes depending on what it is. Uh, the, so these are a lot more like character concept art and things like that, which are kind of neat just to see where a lot of the artwork came from. And I'm not, I'm not familiar with this game quite as much. So there's your gallery. Let's go back into the solo mode or the offline mode. So the six titles we have are Final Fight. Uh, that one I beat on stream earlier. And that archive will be coming uh, on the channel here soonish as I'm recording this or... By the time you've seen this, it might be up there already. Uh, we have The King of Dragons. This one was new to me until I played this a little bit last night for the first time. Uh, we have Captain Commando. I've heard of this one, but really hadn't played it myself. Maybe once way back in the day, but wasn't too familiar with it. Uh... Knights of the Round, kind of your medieval kind of a deal. Uh, I've heard of this one. I think I played it once or twice back in the day, but don't remember much of it at all. And what do we got here? Uh, Warriors of Fate. I have never played this at all until I played this bundle. And Armored Warriors. Now this one I had never played I don't think I've even heard of it until I played this, but I did play through this game uh, all the way through on the Mixer stream earlier today. And uh, I gotta say, it's definitely one of my favorites. I'll show you that one when we get to it, but uh, I like that game. It was 
pretty fun. I like some of the stuff they do with it. And the final one we have is Battle Circuit. This one I had heard of but not really played, and when I played it a little bit last night, it's kind of weird. Um, that's really all I can really say about it, but let's just jump in. I'll show you maybe a level or so of each. So I'll just jump into, we got Final Fight here. Again, these are all the arcade versions, so things that were ported to the Super Nintendo, like the original Final Fight. Um, uh, I'm going to be... Uh, I was, uh, during the stream, I was Hagger. I'm going to be Cody this time, because why not? Be somebody different. <laughs> Gotta love that, just cheesy laugh. Yeah, so these are brawlers. Um... But, like I said, the final fight on the Super Nintendo, it was actually uh, inferior in a lot of ways to the arcade version, because the original version lacked two-player co-op, and it lacked the guy character. That first guy on the left when I was at the character select screen, they actually released a version later called Final Fight Guy that included that, and I believe that actually had uh, co-op as well. So, they did do a fix, and then they released Final Fight... Two and three, and I don't remember if those. The thing is, I can't remember if those were console exclusive or if those came out for the arcade as well. I don't remember ever seeing other than the first one, uh, Final Fight in arcades. But um, I don't know, because I know on the Super Nintendo you had Final Fight two and three, but beyond that, as far as what was in the arcade, I have no clue. Alright, so I'll play like maybe through like the first boss or something here. Uh, but again, you know, if you're familiar with games, I've covered a few different types of Double Dragon titles, like Double Dragon Trilogy, I've covered Double Dragon 4, and I've done a few other uh, classic or different types of brawlers, some good, some pretty terrible. Um, but, you know, I've covered quite a few different ones. And, you know, that's the thing, is it takes a lot to stand out. I mean, that's why these games kind of became less popular over time. You know, in the 8-bit in the days where arcades really had a, you know, one-up on the consoles as far as graphic fidelity and things like that, uh, the, you know, these were fun to play a little co-op with your friends. There were definitely quarter munchers because they were meant to be cheap to get you to spend more money on them. But... You know, once you had games like Street Fighter 2 and all the 2D fighters that really came out, Mortal Kombat, um, you know, the 2D fighters, the 3D fighters like Virtua Fighter, Tekken, uh, Virtua Fighter, you know, all, I mean, just literally dozens of fight, actual fighting games. Uh, these, became, these became less popular, I think, these 2D brawlers. Um, and then they had a few of those on the console, but I mean, really, the main thing is these games were kind of repetitive, you know? You, some of them you had a few special moves, uh, but the problem even with a lot of those is, like, if I do a special move here, you're not encouraged to do it, really, because a lot of times it actually hurts you physically, drains your health, if you do one of those special moves. You're like, well, I could do that, but then, especially if I'm spending real money, you know, real quarters. I'm not going to just waste all my health away. I think I gained an extra life. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That was the main complaint, is, you know, people find these to be repetitive. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I didn't even need to continue that time. I did way better with this guy than Hagger. So now you're in the subway, and we're on to level two. Um... There's our subway uh, station. Subway train comes up. Uh, there we go. You get the idea. You know, you're fighting street thugs. You're going through different areas of the city. Eventually, you're going into, like, a high-rise. You're fighting a whole bunch of enemies. Uh, there gets to be a lot. There's some really cheap enemies and even stage hazards later on that are kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, as I... Oh, as I get beat up by this lady here that's uh, Miss Acrobatic here. But anyway, you know, I hit uh, the back button on the Xbox One controller and we can, you know, get a little how to play. We can change a couple options, you know, whatever. 
But that's Final Fight. Uh, you can save it if you want to. And again, you know, this collection, they don't have some of the other stuff like the Mega Man collections and like I think the uh, SNK collection that they released on the Switch recently. You know, they'll have different things like, a, you know, a high score thing where you can watch somebody's best playthrough or the SNK one, which is, uh, I haven't played it yet, but it sounds really cool where... You can literally watch a playthrough of the game and jump in anytime you want, so you can replay your favorite areas or get past those trouble spots that you had. And we're back to the game select screen here, and we have, um, we can play, we have a couple different options for these two. So we can play the game, uh, but we can also play like the English or Japanese version, one or two player. So that kind of thing here. Um, let's see, okay, we got the King of Dragons. Let's just jump right into this here. This one kind of reminds me of something like an Altered Beast or something like that. So, you know, a lot of these are going to feel kind of samey because, you know, they're 2D beat-em-ups. That's what these games were. Uh, but, all right, so here I can choose... Uh, I'm gonna be the wizard guy because he if I remember correctly he can actually he has a ranged attack which is kind of rare in a in a game like this like usually it's just punching and kicking but you know th this game it actually has different character classes that you can play and yeah you definitely got your you know your swords and sorcery sort of thing you got your knights your wizards your weird beasts sort of a thing I'm in some kind of a like forest thing. I just got a treasure chest and did cause something to happen there. Okay. Yeah, man, this is actually kind of nice. I can just try to stay away. I mean, actually having this ranged attack, not getting in somebody's grill all the time, sometimes can be really helpful in a game like this. Oh, okay, okay, hang on. And I can still... Okay, so he, he doesn't even have like, a close-up attack. It's just, it's a two-button game, essentially, and if I hit both buttons, just like in Final Fight, I can I can uh, do my special attack, which will more than likely drain my... Oh, yeah, this guy. I remember fighting him yesterday. This might make it easier, because I have a distance. I don't have to get exactly up in his grill. This might actually... Yeah. Oh, okay, well... All right, buddy. Time for you to perish, son. I hate those ground attacks because you gotta. You're, you're trying to get lined up with them to hurt him, but then those are also what make you susceptible to his stupid ass ground attack. Ho! Oh. At least he doesn't have a whole bunch of minions yet. Ow! Although he's doing a fine job of hurting me, that's for sure. Okay, well, okay, beat the first level. Did way better than I did last night. I think I played as a knight before. Ooh, treasures. Gimme, yeah, this is definitely like uh, our um, Altered Beast Sega Zone thing. So you're on a world map, you go to level two, Get a chest here. Okay, we got some kind of a crazy power-up. So it's interesting to see what kind of differences, you know, not just the characters, but your enemies and uh, any other just side mechanics. Sometimes you'll have, like, uh, I think in a couple of the games there are some, like, side-scrolling, like, shooter levels where you're kind of dodging and shooting things just to break up the... 2D brawler nature. Uh, I mean, this game looks okay. I mean, there's a there's a little bit too much brown, I think. It, everything's kind of got this drab. Oh god, this guy. Oh yeah, I think I did get this far last night, and then I either died or decided to quit. Guy with this giant axe. You need to sit down, son. Okay, we're stuff is crumbling. Okay, we're falling. Ow! Where am I? 
Ho! <laughs> wow. That actually, this, you know, I'm kind of starting to like this wizard guy. Kind of liking him. Oh, yes, get these. Yeah, I might have to come back and play this. Maybe I'll do it on a stream or something. Okay, I get a ring. All right, so that, I mean, that's king of, oh, wait, what? Uh, okay, um, why does it make me choose another character? I didn't do bad. It's like the first level again, I think, isn't it? I'll play a little bit more just because I want to see. Yeah, this guy, he kind of, you know, he's colored differently, so he's a little bit, he blends into the other guys a little bit more, so it's harder to tell where I am versus everybody else. Like, I like that other guy, because he really, like, oh, hey, I'm a big wizard guy. He stood out a lot more, especially when you get a whole bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of dudes. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe this is different. Okay. Okay, yeah, so... We're cruising along as our archer here. I don't know, man. Uh, these 2D brawlers sometimes have an arranged uh, attack. Might just be the ticket. Especially for guys, if they got really big weapons, like that guy, uh, axe guy, I could just kind of get just out of his range and not get completely massacred. So... Yeah, seems okay. I don't know. Seems pretty good. Okay, grab something. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, my, oh, hi. How you doing? You're a big flying monstrosity. Okay. Well, guess what? That's where we're going to leave it. I'm going to let you guys uh, play that for yourselves. Or maybe check out a future stream. But that is... Um, what is the name of that game again? Uh, oh yeah, the King of Dragons. Okay, so let's check out Captain Commando. All right. Um, like I said, I've heard of this one, and prior to playing it last night, I don't remember it much at all. I don't know if this is based on something, like a comic book or whatever. Uh, I'm going to be that one. I'm going to be that character. Okay, so I mean, really, there's not much to say as far as like, oh, what kind of game is this? No, they're all 2D brawlers, 2D beat em ups. That's what this collection is. It just depends on, like, if there's a certain uh, franchise or a certain, uh, like, a theme. You know, do you want uh, knights and wizards? Do you want street thugs? Do you want sci fi things? You know, you, they have all kinds of different themes here, so. This one, you know, and some of them, you know, they play a little bit differently. So, like, I think Final Fight, to me, feels a little stiff. Uh, and some of these other ones, like, they still have a little bit of stiffness to them, but I think they feel just a little bit more fluid or modern or just something. They don't feel quite as slow high. I think this one, actually, I think I can dash if I hit... Yeah, if I double tap the arrows, I can run. Which is good. Yeah, blow it up. Um, because, yeah, I think Final Fight, you just your guy just bleh, lumbers along. But I can go, wee! <laughs> Look at his running animation! <laughs> I just noticed that now. That's hilarious. I gotta... Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess he's gonna jump on my head. Okay, I gotta... I want to make him run again, though, in a minute. After I get this boss, because that run animation is hilarious. Get your minion there. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare, you sucker. Ow, okay, he kind of electrocuted me or, uh -oh, or something. Okay, he does his little bouncy, bouncy attack. Ugh. Okay, I died once. A lot more energetic music than... Uh, I always found the... F I, I liked Final Fight, but I always found the music to be kind of... Like, not really fitting 
fighting, you know, the whole street thug fighting. It's kind of tame for what you're doing. Kind of like lounge music or something. You know, this, you got an up-tempo thing. Yeah, let's chuck this guy at his face. Man, this big guy, I really got to concentrate on him more. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Can I do it without a continue? That's the question. Can I do it without inserting a quarter? Uh, that would be a no. Okay, I am Captain Commando. Guess that's who I am. I didn't really pay attention, but hey. Na game is named after him, so hey, why not be him, right? Oh, okay, that was like... Oh, okay, there we go. That's kind of like a string screen clearing thing. Alright, I gotta see this guy's run animation again. That was funny. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Oh, dude, I got like a pile dryer, or like a... Uh, I don't know what you call that, like... Almost like a... It's like a wrestling move, almost like a diamond cutter or something. Run! Oh, oh yeah, these guys, these damn electrical guys. These guys suck. I remember these guys. Yeah, they electrocute you. I was calling them Blanca the other day. Although I am doing significant... Well, I say that and then I get just massacred, but I was going to say uh, I'm doing far better than I did when I tried this last night, so, you know, maybe... Maybe it's good that I actually am playing it over again. Okay, no, 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 I want to run. Ah, okay, let me run, and then I'm going to quit here. <laughs> I don't know, it's just his run animation. All right, so we're done. Uh, well, uh, that's Captain Commando, pretty self-explanatory. Seems all right. All right, let's move on to, what are we on? Game number four, okay? We are on Knights of the Round. Here is your lords and like your, you know, your knights and stuff like that, of course. Uh, got your sword in the stone. Your giant, yep, yeah, couple of hands, armored hands grasping it there. Knights of the Round, okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll be the first one there. All of them kind of have the same sort of, uh, like, sound chip. Almost really based on the Genesis, it sounds like, or the FM synthesis, which, you know... Some of them can be good, but depending on how it's implemented, uh, that sound chip can get kind of grating uh, to me because it's just this stuff isn't so bad. Uh, but when you get into like the really guitar-y stuff, typically I like that. But some of them it just sounds like a. I've heard some people call it like a fart or a chainsaw. You know, it just has this weird sound. Oh, okay. Uh, I hear a weird noise. I'm not sure what that was about. So I'm rocking my sword here. So this one I just have weapons by default. I don't have to pick them off the ground like I have in other titles so far. Hey, bud. I got to see something here. And some of these games I'm not entirely sure, but I think... Uh, there are hidden combos or hidden moves, so like, I think, I don't remember which one it is, but there's somewhere if you, you do like a, you know, a, a, what do you call it, like a Hadouken move or something, or, you know, moves like that, you'll do uh, a different move. Yeah, these sound effects are right out of another game, I think. We got these armored guys. Clang, clang. Okay, there's my special attack. Get Mr. Armor Buddy over here. Hey, how you doing? 
Oh, okay, he was actually a boss. I didn't even realize that. I was just beating the crap out of whoever. Alright, so... I'm not sure what that's about. If I'm supposed to mash the buttons there, or if I'm just gaining some arbitrary, like, leveling thing. I'm not exactly sure how that works in this game. Maybe it's on how many guys you killed, or how many treasures you collected, or... I'm not sure if there's like a button mashing thing on that meter. Uh, I have not figured that out yet. So, you know, again, we're just kind of in uh, a little... Some planes here. We got some village or something. Uh, you know, just we're going through your typical lords and knights sort of thing here. Uh, I'll play it maybe a tad more. But we got two more titles to... Or, uh, yeah, two more titles to go, I think. Yeah, two. Yep. Come on. Quit backing away from me. Your time must come. You must perish. There we go. You know, all these games have their variation of boxes or barrels or something. Yeah, kill these guys. They got their axes and whatnot. I don't think you can run in this one, or unless there's a separate run button. Uh, you can't double tap, I don't think, the way you could in the other one. No goofy run animation for this guy. Alright, let's see. Nope. Mm. Just trying to see if there's another like run button or something. Nope, doesn't appear to be. A little slower paced game again. But, you know, like I said, this one you have... Everybody has their own weapons. You've got sword guys. You've got axe guys. You've got, you know, short sword. you got probably some... I'm guessing there's going to be some archers or some cheap-ass types of enemies later on. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, we got some dude on a horseback. Let's see if we can knock him off and grab his horse, maybe? How about that? Okay, let's... Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah! Okay, we're... Oh, well, we were mounted. Okay, well... Eh, I don't know. I mean, it seems okay. It's it's another brawler. Um, like I said, it just depends on what your favorite theme is, uh, how fluid you think the controls are. I mean, this one isn't bad. Maybe a little stiff, or not too bad, but it's a little slower than the other one. And so we have to continue here. Uh, we're just going to quit, though. We're going to go back and we're going to play... Uh, our other two remaining titles here in offline mode. Now we have Warriors of Fate. Oh, we have three left. Can't even keep track of how many we've played. <laughs> Warriors of Fate. What the heck was this one about again? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, this one. Now some of them, yeah, these... Some of them start to have little story things, uh, little text boxes, dialogue boxes. Um, I'm going to be that big Brutus guy on the left. He seems pretty interesting. Big bearded guy. Oh, this is the one where you started on a horse. That's right. This game is weird. The, the horse combat is really bizarre because... See, how does this work? So you hit the you hit A in a in the left or right direction and then you will turn the horse in that direction. So if I and, and then if I move in that direction, so let's say so I'm just gonna back up like this. Oh well and then he changed. But now if I hold A, I'll do like a gallop. So you kinda has this really strange I, I get it, kind of, but it just still seems kind of awkward. Kind of awkward and clunky. Okay, I guess we're doing a big old special attack there, killing those guys. 
And you can eventually be knocked off, I think. So, you know, we've got a few titles that are really kind of your medieval swords and knights and all that kind of thing. So there's definitely some repetition here, especially when you consider, you know, all these are brawlers. All these are these beat-em-up titles. So it's not something you're going to want to just, you know, marathon unless you really, 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 really like these types of games. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend sitting down and playing through all the titles at once or in a single sitting because I would think that would get rather monotonous. But, you know, when you just want something kind of mindless to just turn your brain off and attack, play some classic uh, arcade games, you know, it's not bad. I mean, the emulation seems decent enough. I mean, I don't... I can't really speak from... I haven't played all of these games. Yeah, see, now I'm off my horse, which I actually prefer. No, get... Okay, okay, how's I was gonna say? How do I get off my horse? Ow! Now I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, hang on. Okay, we're off of our horse. We got knocked off. And I think I died. Whoa, that was some slowdown. Oh, that was the end being a level. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what you just said in Japanese. I'm assuming that's Japanese. Probably got an extra life there. Usually sounds like that. Mean an extra life. So now that we're on foot, let's play a little bit longer just to see how he feels on foot. I kind of like it a little better just because it plays more of what I'm familiar with. I'm digging the guy's drop kick when I jump. Ow! There we go, nice drop kicks. Oh, they had a weapon. Hang on, I want that. Gimme. Yeah. Hey. Okay, let me go up and get this box real quick. Ooh, another weapon. Haha. <laughs> hey! Unacceptable, sir. Where'd my weapon go? You stole it. I don't know, this one seems kind of fun. He seems like he's got some nice throws, and I'm guessing each character plays a little bit differently as far as like how they punch and kick and throw and all that kind of stuff, so... I don't know, seems okay. I'd play this some more. Oh, okay, we got some explosions there. Oh, how'd I do that headbutt thing? That was cool, how'd I do that? Can I do a run? Can I do a dat? Oh, no. Oh, maybe the... Okay. So... Continuing there. I, that was a game over. I had to insert a quarter. And, like I said, this is the arcade version, so it's not like... Uh, you can basically put in as many quarters, hit just hit start as many times as you want, and you'll be able to keep playing. So you can brute force your way through these games, which does admittedly take away some of the challenge, but you, I don't know that you'd want to have limited continues and be frustrated that way either. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're going to break that, get some food. Do my little spinny attack. And we'll wrap it up here in just a moment. We'll kick into our last two titles. Uh, some of the weirder ones, actually, well, the next one is really cool. I enjoyed playing that. I kind of like his uh, uh, his little, like if you grab somebody, you can kind of do a jump and then like a pile driver sort of a thing. Kind of like um, Zangief and Street Fighter. Yeah, like that. Uh, there we go. So, that's fun. Ow, that is not fun. It's got my ass kicked. All right, grab this. Yeah, let's just stop here. Um, so that is... Um, I forget even which ones we were playing. Like I said, they seem kind of interchangeable, so I forget the... Oh, yeah. Yep. Warriors of Fate. Okay, now this one is kind of cool. Armored Warriors. I played through this one on the stream. Mixer stream. Uh, you know, again, it's your beat-em-up. 
But this one is more futuristic. You got these kind of mech mech guys. I'm gonna be this guy because I've tried a couple of these and this one's kind of my favorite so far. Now the neat aspect of this is the longer you get into the game, we have our cutscene or not cutscenes, but we have little text dialogues here. Nice large print, but there is some auto advancing text. But one of the cool things I like about this is like you're fighting all these other mechs and different types of enemies and you eventually start adding on to your mech thing. So that's me. Yeah, I, li I like this just cheesy, fast rock and music too. Um, but yeah, so I'm this uh, kind of light colored guy. I'm killing all these guys. I like my little thrusters. You see the little, when I move, I move a lot faster. I can kind of zip around the level more. I'm still agile. Like I can still jump and attack and do like a do like that. I can still throw. I mean, it plays like a regular brawler, but just kind of a neat thing having these futuristic mech things. And like I said, you kill certain types of them later on and you can add like, um, it'll say like what you get too. So um, what was it? Laser blade or I can get tank treads, these little spider leg things. Uh, this, I can shoot electricity with some guns. Like, it's kind of... Okay, something approaching. Enemy approaching or something. Oh, okay, first little boss here. Yeah, little text boxes. Don't care. Let's wreck shit. Come on. Okay, so you got your giant health bar on the bottom. That is for your boss, naturally. And we're just gonna... The beginning of the this game, I also, I would say, at least until probably about halfway through the game is quite a bit easier. Like when I was playing Final Fight and a couple of the other ones, I kept dying fairly often, but something with the way this game moves and plays, uh, I was just, and maybe it's just this character, I don't know, but like I was doing reasonably well. Uh, I didn't have to continue too many times until the latter half of the game. Then there was a few bosses, there's a few areas where there was a few cheap enemies, but, um, this one isn't quite as much of a quarter sucker. And there's my special attack. No, you and your damn machine gun, you can just... That attack is fun. You just get in there and go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. Whoa, hey, buddy. Come on, hit him. I don't want to continue. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not... Oh, too late, I did. Alright, well... No! Li really. Literally one hit, and I would have killed him. God dang it. That's a kick in the... You know where. So yeah, there's your first level. I'll play a little bit more of this, and then we'll go to our last game in this collection. This bundle. Yeah, you'll be back. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, we'll head to our next level here. And they get longer. Like, the levels get much, much longer. Uh, they start out, again, pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. But they get longer, as they ought to. Kill these guys here. Okay, so... Oh, okay. What do you say? Guns? Is that what he said? Okay, I got something. So when you do that, you're picking up some kind of power-up, and you hear your little computer system kind of tell you what you got. Although those voice samples could be a little bit clearer. Uh, it's hard to hear, especially if you're hearing all kinds of other background noise and you know sound effects and music. and They're not the clearest speech samples for some of the stuff, so I just kind of, eh, whatever. Come here, buddy. You will be destroyed. Whoa, okay, that didn't go well. Okay, killed that guy. Oh, okay, let's kill this guy over here real quick. Or die, that works too. And when you fall, like when you die, 
like sometimes some of your pieces that you've collected you'll have to go pick up again or you'll lose them so yeah see now I've picked up another like ability here all right So it's your brawler, and this one again, this is one of the games that has these sort of bonus areas. Uh, where you're like shooting or something. This one, I'm trying to remember what this, oh okay. I sort of remember this. Yeah, th throw him, chuck him, yeah, come on. This one just feels a lot faster, a lot more energetic than a lot of the other ones. Some of them are kind of a little bit plodding in their pacing. <clears throat> eh, I'll kill these guys and then we'll call it. We'll uh, load up our last game. Ah, you know what? Uh, we died. Instead of continuing, we'll just exit now. So there you go, that is Armored Warriors. That's definitely one of my favorites in the collection. I had fun playing that one. Our last title is Battle Circuit. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We got our little Hall of Fame leaderboards. And kind of a different select screen, almost like a fighting game here. Um, let's be somebody different. Let's be, we'll be this one. She's kind of weird looking. Alright, I have no idea what the premise for this game is. Uh, but this one kind of plays a little bit different. It's almost like these like these little mini levels or something. Um, you'll see. This game is just goofy. <laughs> Whee! Grab that box. Kind of wonder if this is based off of something. It's definitely a lot more colorful, that's for sure. And it's got kind of a little bit of a speed... Oh, God, okay, I got some sort of... That was not good. Some kind of... Elect I got electrocuted or something. What? All right, and we get all glowy. I beat whoever it was I was supposed to kill. I did it. <laughs> I think that's what she said. So yeah, it was almost like a little arena battle, and then you're graded on how many, like, how much you collect. Oh, I think this is the one where you can get upgrades in between levels too. So you get little text boxes here, and now you're you get a time limit on just give me one second here after all this babble here I think it auto advances but I'm just zipping it along pretty quick so yeah whatever don't care don't care okay yeah so I have 77 I can choose to upgrade some stuff sure all right Okay, <clears throat> got some kind of jazzy music going on here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the whole premise of this is, but it's definitely unique. Something different than what we've played in a lot of the other games as far as just style, if nothing else. Again, I want to be collecting... Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, we're okay. You want me to go to the? Oh, you're gonna drop bombs on me. That's not very nice at all. Hey. I wonder if I can run. Oh, let's go up here and get these crates. There we go. Make sure I get those because I want to make sure. And yeah, get those, so if I want to upgrade... I'm not sure what to make of this one, other than the fact that it's kind of weird. Uh-oh. 
Okay, that was kind of my special weird attack. Okay, that was interesting. I don't know who this little thing here is. Play a little bit more of this, but we're going to wrap it up here shortly. Uh, I think, okay, I think that was a continue technically. Oh, wait, what's this? Grab that. Uh, barrels, stereotype. Okay, whoa, okay, we got a whole bunch more dudes here. Or weird things. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I'm not quite sure what's going on in this game. It's kind of weird. What? Okay. Oh, right. Okay, this is where I left. This is where I quit in the other attempt at recording this. Yeah, so now we're in this really flashy, glowy, uh, strange-looking area. We got a couple minions. We got this giant boss over here. Again, it's really kind of a interesting choice of music that we have. You know, it's... What'd you call it? Kind of jazzy? Smooth jazz, almost? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll come back to this at some point, but uh, I think, that, you know, this video is getting kind of long, and I just wanted to give you guys a look at the different games in this collection. Again, this is one that is on the Switch and the PC. I don't know if... It's on your Xbox One or PS4. I'm not sure. I know it's on the Switch for sure. I know it's on the PC because we're playing it here. Um, you know, this would be something I think would be pretty good on the Switch. You know, you're out somewhere. You just have a few minutes. Maybe you want to play a level, uh, a level of one of these games until you go into sleep mode again and be good for that. Uh, or taking it with you and then you can play with a friend. This would be a game. This would be a series of games, I should say, that you could easily play with the Joy-Cons um, in their sideways configuration, so you could do a two-player co-op if you wanted to. Um, so there's that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I figured I'd just play this on a big monitor on my PC, be able to record it for you guys. Um, although a bit repetitive, I still do enjoy just some mindless... Uh, brutality every now and again so that is the capcom beat em up bundle available now hope you guys enjoyed the video follow me on twitter at bgfh79 or on mixer mixer.com slash bgfh and until next time i will talk to you guys again later